New tonight, officials have determined the six-year-old girl who died in a fire in Plainfield Wednesday night died from burns and smoke inhalation. Her death has been ruled an accident. The home did not have sprinklers. If it had, it may have made a difference. News 8's Renee Schmiel spoke with a fire marshal about the push to get sprinklers into all new homes. Renee. Ann and Darren, that house was built just a few months ago, and it had at least one working smoke detector, but no sprinklers. Builders are not required to install sprinkler systems on single-family homes, however, though there is a rule that builders have to let buyers know they can put sprinklers in if they want to. If that goes to a flashover and you're in it, you're, it's not survivable. West Haven Fire Marshal Keith Flood is chair of the Connecticut Fire Sprinkler Coalition. Though houses in the state don't have to have sprinklers, the group is trying to change that. The house in Plainfield where a six-year-old girl died didn't have sprinklers, and Flood thinks they would have made a difference. Our opinion is that this may have been a different scenario if the house had sprinklers in it. The coalition wants new houses to be required to have sprinkler systems, though the group isn't pushing to put them in existing homes. The water pipe connects to the top. Each of these sprays at least 15 gallons of water per minute in a fire, buying people time to get out. You have 80% rate of getting out of a house fire with smoke alarms and sprinklers and only 50% with smoke alarms alone. So there's a big difference there. The biggest problem? The cost. Larry Babbitt designs and installs sprinkler systems following state and local fire codes. He says they start at about $5,000, but he says not having one can cost a lot more. How much of a value do you put on your family's lives? I lost two nephews, I know. Babbitt's nephews were killed in a fire almost 22 years ago. They were just 14 and 12 years old. That house didn't have sprinklers, and Babbitt says they could have made a difference. Wherever the heat rises, normally it's going to go right to the top. It'll start protecting that area all the way to the doors to get out of the building. That's why fire officials like Flood are trying to change Connecticut's codes. It allows people to get out of a building quicker and saves lives. Flood says sprinkler systems can save you money on homeowner's insurance. It can also increase the value of your home. The cause of that fire in Plainfield is still under investigation. Live in the studio, I'm Renee Schmiel. Darren, back to you.